we're gonna start making some rods just for myself um, I'm basically gonna just start out with I have three rods that I'm gonna do but this video I'm just gonna do these two trolling rods here um, I was gonna do a separate video on just like one on each of these but we're just gonna do them both at the same time they're completely different rods um, I got a small pile of stuff here that's all my this is all the supplies that I got some stuff here but pretty much everything I got was from mudhole.com um, and they're a big rod building uh, company I get all supplies and stuff from them uh, this blank right here I wanted a nice downrigger rod uh, I don't know if this is this is going to be it or not but it seems like it's pretty good so this is a nine foot medium um, it's a Rod Geeks rod that I had them paint uh, black flake. If you can see that when the sunlight it shines, and then the upper half is white, so we can see it when it's bent over. I'm just gonna do like some super bright colors on this on the wraps. We'll do like hot pink or like orange or something, so we can really see it when it's bent over. Um, and then this one is just a cheaper uh, mud hole rod. That's just gonna be like a lead core rod. So. Um, we're gonna build those up. These are gonna be the first rods that I build. I'm not gonna show you like every step because I really have no idea what I'm doing. It's, it's probably gonna be real bad. Um, I'll just have a few like shots here and there, me doing a few things, and then I'm just basically just gonna show you the end product, um, and then we'll go fish with them and hopefully uh, get a few fish on them for the video. But uh, stay tuned and see what happens. <laughs> grip there nice real seat nice foam grip and a aluminum fighting butt so that'll fit nicer in our rod holder so Whew. next one might be a little bit easier <laughs> Alright, so both rods are done now, and here's kind of a quick look at them. The, um, the one with the white tip here I made for a downrigger rod, so it's a spiral wrap. Pull this out, you can see it's got uh, kind of like a black and white wrap, but first guy is straight, second one's turned. Next one's turn a little bit more, and then the guys go right to the bottom of the rod. If this rod's gonna be bent over all the time, you know, hooked on the downrigger, um, it just makes it a little more efficient, a little bit better for the rod. Um, I don't know, just kind of figured it was a good uh, opportunity to try that. It's a little stiffer than I thought it was gonna be. I kinda, I bought these two rods just to, in case one was stiffer than the other. <clears throat> and I thought this one was stiffer, but once I got this together, I think this one actually is the, the tip is super soft so like the first little bit is super soft and they said it was a moderate action but it really was like a fast action so I'm not really all that thrilled with that rod that's a rod geeks rod um, this one just MHX rod and I actually really like it um, I don't know if it would be a good downrigger rod it's definitely moderate action it's got a nice parabolic bend to it and I did the double foot guides because I figured I would use this rod as my second lead core setup and to pull planer boards with so um, should be a good little rod I probably will use this one quite a bit actually 
and on the tip I did all the orange wraps and on the tip I did like a uh, high-vis green yellow color there um, just so you can kind of see the tip going but um, this one's kind of crazy but that's what I wanted to do something kind of wild looking but it's got a nice uh, a nice action to it nice moderate action so uh, we're gonna go uh, out in the boat and just try these I don't know if we'll catch any fish on them but uh, we're gonna just go see how they function so let's go try her all right so we're out in the boat now and we're gonna do a little trolling here um, I'm gonna start out putting out the lead core rod here that we built I'm gonna put out about probably four four and a half colors on this lead core rod On this other rig we're going to run this other northeast troller 100 spoon pink uv white pearl so there's that this is the rod i'm most curious about just to see how it functions on the downrigger i'm already not all that impressed with it so it's gonna have to do quite a bit of it's gonna have to impress me quite a bit spiral wrap seems to be working good feeding line out anyways if you can pick that up with this GoPro or not. See, the thing is with this thing is that it's got a, it, it does not have a moderate action to it at all. It's like a fast action. This is in the downrigger, folks. I don't know. We'll see when we get a fish on, if we ever get a fish on, what happens and uh, evaluate it. We might be selling that rod, but I do like. I do like, uh, looks like the guides are working well, exactly how I designed it. That line's wrapping around the rod, pulling right down, so, so far so good. That's a cool. Kidding me? It just came off. Small. Jesus. Little bass. Yes, sir. Little bass. It's okay. Better than nothing. Thanks, buddy. Man, the line goes out these guides like nothing. It's awesome. Small male. Oh, white perch, dude. Holy smokes. That's a tanker. <laughs> wow, dude, that's a big white perch. Sick. All right, guys, so that wraps up my trolling rod video there. I know we didn't really catch anything, but I uh, figured I'd document my first uh, few rods here that I built. Uh, we're going to be building a pretty cool spinning rod, like travel series, to go in the back of the truck for this uh, fall. And we will be catching a ton of fish on that, so stay tuned for that. And catch you guys in the next one. Stay